So we've got this L150 New Holland's good steer and I'm sick of freezing. We got a door for it finally. Put some plexiglass in the sides. We found a door. We found a door at an auction for a couple hundred bucks. Now we're gonna buy. We bought this heater. It's a northern radiator heater. And you can see what it is here. It's 12 volt. Just I think it was a couple hundred bucks. Uh here's the part number even if you need it. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and mount that. We bought some heater hose and some uh, coolant for it and we bought these two fittings from New Holland 642-560 they're the ones that go on the block to allow for the heater to be plumbed in the system so we got to wire it and we got to hook up the heater hoses okay so we've actually got the heater mounted now and we're gonna cut a little square spot right through the top there of the firewall so that we can fit the two hoses through it or two three quarter inch hoses so we got our little paint marking pen and a level so that we can create a straight line there okay so we got the two long cuts made with a sawzall and now we're going to use the cutoff wheel to cut the straight up and down piece and then probably a sawzall to get the corners so we don't go over too much so you can see we hit, hit that with the cutoff wheel. Now we're just gonna, we didn't go all the way to the corners, but it should hopefully break off here. Not too much trouble, there we go. And you can see we left the foam on the back side as much as we could. That way we can wrap that around the hoses when they come through. So here's the piece removed and that'll give us a spot to run our two hoses through. We got grommets here so that we don't cut them when they go through the firewall there. So we have the grommets on the hoses, the hose clamps on, and now we're just going to connect them to the heater here that we got mounted. So now we've got our hoses coming back. We did buy a 90 degree turn valve here just off of Amazon's three quarter inch uh, heater hose shut off. That way we can shut off the heat in the summer so we don't have that hot coolant circulating in the cab when it's hot in the summer. So we're going to plumb that in the line here real quick uh, and put it in a spot where it's pretty easy to turn on and off. So there's two of these fittings that uh, make it so you can tap into the motor uh, with your coolant. Here's the part number 642560. These are from New Holland. And one of them goes right there on top of the water pump. And the other one goes on the back side of the thermostat where it goes back in the motor. So we got one of the heater hoses hooked up, and one that comes off the thermostat, it goes back behind under the muffler. We don't want it anywhere near the muffler and straight in. So we can see we did spill a little bit of coolant, but not too much. Pretty happy with it. And that's how she looks. So we can see our valve is in there. We got this top nipple on. And we'll connect our hose. You can see the top one here is a little bit more chill because the coolant level is not low enough where it runs out when you put it on. Whereas that one, of course, the coolant was right there. So it was running out as we were putting it on, but this one's kind of easy. So we're going to slide it on and tighten our hose clamp up. So we made three little jumper wires. They just got female plugs on each end and they go from the back of the fan switch to the actual fan. We just follow the schematic. Okay, so we got the heater mounted. You can see the hoses go back through and everything is working well. We got the fuse. We hooked up, we made a little bracket to hold the switch and it's a three speed. And it blows hot air out and you can see my coat's been off and I'm wearing not wearing gloves and we just put plexiglass on the sides and we did find a door which you'll see uh, in a I don't know last year sometime we, we found one at an auction so that's what we put on the front but the heater's working it's all mounted and I'm really happy with it, it makes a huge difference using the skid steer for four hours three or four hours a day